Hello, today I'm going to show you the user experience with Abbey FlexiCapture, the standalone version. Um, and it's a very simple tool. I think you're going to like it. It's going to flow very easily. So let's get started. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, open up what we call the operator station. And you can see that we have two different stations. One is the administrator station. That's where we do all of the behind the scenes setup for a project. But the actual user experience happens in what we call the operator station. So I'm going to hit the operator station and uh, we're going to load the project. We can either browse um, or just open the project here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just open. And the first thing we need to do is we need to just follow this toolbar across. So each one of these buttons kind of indicate the, the flow of how a batch or a group of documents would flow through the software. So we're going to load some images. And literally, we select either one or multiple images. Um, this is actually the image that we're going to take. And this is a PDF document that contains multiple versions of this form for us. So we're going to just double click it, and the software is going to create a batch automatically. You can see here it put a new batch, and what it's going to do is add that file to the batch. So it's going to add that, and then the next thing it will do is it will actually automatically do this recognize phase for us. And when it recognizes a document, that's when the software extracts the details. It tries to recognize what kind of document type it is and then extract those details for us. And that's what it's in the process of doing right now. Okay. Now, once the software is done recognizing it, it is ready for verification. Now, a lot of options from here on out are customizable based on what you want to experience within the software. I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to run verification. The first way is we can simply just hit this button. And this is a what we call a group verification process where we just go group by group or field by field and the software pulls all of these fields from the document and asks us to determine if all of these, for in this case, are check marks. Um, and all of these look like we could consider them valid check marks and so what we'll do is we'll confirm them. And in this case, it wants us to confirm when check marks aren't checked. Um, in this case, we may want to say, hey, this one actually is a considered a check mark, and so that the software will consider that one checked now when we process it. And this is what we call group verification. Um, and you can see it, it's telling you what the software recognized as the character, and here are the different images within the different files that it recognized as well. And it's just asking us to determine which one of those matches. And we can literally go field by field, and we can see here the percentage that we're at um, based on the batch and document that we are here as well. So, for example, if these are the software recognizes these three characters as a two, well, it's we we can assume that these are one. So we can actually mark those as suspect characters and continue moving on, or we can even correct them, and then we can tell the software these are ones not twos and therefore it will save that for us. So this is group verification and we just literally walk our way through until we're 100% verified. Um, it's a very common and fast way to get through verification. The other way if I close out of this is to just double click the batch and when I double click the batch you can see that one file contained four separate documents that we extracted and literally what I can do is just walk one by one, double click them and from a user experience, we see what the software extracted on the left versus what the document looks like on the right. And we compare. This is what we call verifying that the soft, what the software extracted is correct. Um, and so we would walk through every single character. Any suspect characters are in red um, or anything underlined in red does need some sort of attention or is there for us to, to get our attention just so we as humans realize that they're uh, is either something that requires us to look at or needs our attention. So we would literally just continue walking through the software. Now, the software also has built-in rules within it, and these are rules that are customizable. They're up to you, but in this case, the software is saying the first names don't compare on a couple different of the pages of this document, and it really wants that to happen. So all we need to do is we can see if we just click on the field, it tells us where these fields are at that must match. In this case, uh, first name is on you know two or three different pages, apparently three pages here, and it wants us to compare that they all look the, like the exact same name. Um, and so those look good, yeah, but here's the one that the software uh, has some, um, uh, it does not match in the rule. So all we need to do is override that ourselves. And when we do that, you can see that error goes away. 
so you, you can save your changes as you move forward and then you would literally just continue walking through your batch um, one by one if you did not want to use the group verification now the other thing I will highlight is this confidence level concept this confidence level is a character uh, grade that we give for every character that the software extracts it has its own confidence and what it can do is based on its own confidence if it is not confident that it extracted the right character it will highlight the character in red and here's a couple of examples where the software maybe wasn't 100 percent confident or confident enough um, and therefore it wants us as humans to verify that the software is correct and if for some reason it's not correct, in this case, this should say AV, we just simply override that field. And when we override it, those results um, are what will get exported, not the incorrect results. So that, that's just an, another step here of verification. When we are done with verification, we just need to go to the next step up here, which is export. And so what we would do is we would highlight the documents that need exported, and we would export. It's going to ask me if we want to save changes, and then it's going to export the documents uh, on which it can export. Now, there does it does have an error, um, and it's really just because of the error on this last one wasn't exported because I didn't fix all of the results of it. For so you can see here we have rules here, and I have the software configured that says anytime we have a rule violation, make sure we don't export that. And the, really, the reason why we do that is so that we don't get bad data um, when we're analyzing this downstream. So, but now that we've exported the other ones, so uh, we can kind of go see where those are at. And uh, really, all of this is set up uh, in the administrator station on where documents are exported to, so not within the operator station. So we're going to assume that you know how to do that already. Um, and so we will go look at the uh, exported results here. And you can see here, in this case, we have situations where we show every image, in other words, every, every separate document, and then we have all of the data as well. That's what these Excel spreadsheets are. And then lastly, if we redact some information on documents, we have those redacted details here as well. So that is the user experience within uh, Abbey Flexi Capture standalone. And it's a really fluid, simple process, a very powerful process in the background as well. It gives you the ability to process with flexibility your documents with your rules that are for your business. Uh, if you have any questions or if you enjoyed uh, watching this video, please let us know. Um, and we, you can reach us on our website at www.ufcinc.com. Thanks.